Hey everyone, it's me. I'm going to show you something on my camera lens. You'll see over here an AF and an MF. I think that's the area. On this lens, it's AF is autofocus and MF means manual focus. So on a camera similar to this, MF means manual focus. That means you are focusing the lens yourself. And AF means autofocus. You push the button, it focuses, you shoot, done, end of story. So the camera does the work for you. And I want to talk about estrangement and how I was able to heal and overcome. And I'm going to use the lens analogy. I, after my estrangement, well, rug pulled out from under me. All I focused on was my estranged children. What, what were they doing, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's all I ever focused on. And there came a point in time when that was my identity was only my estranged children and the loss, the grief, etc. And one day I, I went to therapy and I was told you get five minutes to talk about this and then we're going to start talking about you and we're going to shift the focus. And what I realized is that I had the power to manually focus on other things outside of just my estrangement. I, I, I had the power to start manually focusing on the positive, the people that were in my life, the fact that I was still here. I was overlooking so many blessings in my life because automatically, AF, automat, autofocus, after the estrangement, I automatically focused on the negative. And over time, I had to shift over to MF, where I, MF, manual focus, where I had to manually, I had to force myself to focus on what I still had. I can't change the estrangement. I, I'm not going to beg someone to come back. All I know is that I have the ability every single morning to wake up and say, what am I going to focus on today? What am I going to watch in the news? What am I going to look at on Facebook? What kind of shows am I going to watch? What kind of people am, am I going to interact with? Most important, my thoughts, feelings, speech, what I, what I intake and what I outflow is all within my control. So what am I going to speak about? Am I going to speak about positive things or negative things? It's all within our control. And I think so many times when you deal with a loss, the loss of that person becomes our identity. And that's all we ever talk about and all we ever focus on is, and I could talk about the loss of my dad 13 years ago when he suddenly passed. And that was the, what I thought was the end of my world. But I, I said, well, he's gone. What did my dad, what did he enjoy doing? And he loved to do crossword puzzles and photography. So out of that, I became a photographer and I now had a new focus and I took lemons and I made lemonade and added vodka. And so in the meantime, since my dad's passing and my estrangement, I'd become a photographer. I have a series of friends and some family members that I talk with. I have a full life. I've gotten married. I did take some college classes before and after my children estranged. I have a whole new attitude and I'm kind of a new person. And I'm a new person as a result of my loss and a new person as a result of a reframing and a refocus. So are you going to allow the camera to focus or are you going to choose to refocus and manually focus on new things? It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort to say, I'm going to have a good day and I'm going to choose to take a walk. I'm going to have a positive thought instead of focusing on my loss. I'm going to focus on what I can be gaining as a result of this situation. So I just want to say you can autofocus and allow your mind to go wherever it chooses to go, or you can manually focus and you can start to take control and start to focus on new things. So I hope this helps. I know it's kind of silly, but I thought that was a good analogy and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.